Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech and today I want to talk to you about these lightweight titanium wheel bolts. So as you can see here, so these are made from titanium. Uh, they save about one third of weight compared to the normal standard wheel bolt. And I'm going to show you what they look like and how they weigh on the scales. Okay guys, let's get straight to it with these uh, titanium ones compared to um, the standard wheel bolt. So these are my standard wheel bolts that I'm using on my Porsche Cayman. Um, you can see they're pretty much the same design with the collars, etc. Slight difference is the um, how you tighten them. Obviously this is just a normal uh, socket, whereas this one is a hex key. Um, so it gives you that kind of slightly added benefit of security. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, weigh the standard bolt. So about 94 grams. And we'll compare that to the titanium, we've got 68 grams. So we've roughly got a saving there about 28 grams per one um, wheel bolt. So let's just do for comparison, then we'll do a set of it's about 341 grams now also what I want to just uh, show you is the locking wheel nut because actually the locking wheel nut does weigh more than the normal um, bolt so we've got about 100 grams on that one let's add We've got 478 grams so we've got roughly i say roughly give or take a, a gram or two we've got roughly about 135 grams worth of saving per wheel now it doesn't sound like a lot to begin with but obviously what we need to consider is it's part of the unsprung mass and it's also rotational mass as well so um price of these they can range between 200 to 300 pounds for a set so they're not particularly that cheap perhaps when you're looking at your uh, gains per pounds it's probably not the um, biggest gain you're going to get but if you're trying to eke out every little tiny bit of performance from your cars then this is another consideration uh, some titanium wheel bolts uh, next then i'll show you what they look like on the car so as you can see you can see the standard wheel bolts i've taken one out already so i could put the new one in but you can see the standard wheel bolts as I said before, they're going a little bit rusty, so these should look a little bit better. So pretty easy to uh, swap these out and just do one at a time and screw them in. Obviously, the most important thing here once you're finished is torquing it up. So make sure you get your correct torque setting. So I'm just going to do it by hand for the moment just so you can see what it looks like. You can see straight away that looks so much better. So I'll swap these all out. And then you can have a little bit of a look to see uh, what you think. So as I change out these wheel bolts, let's just take a run through some of those figures. So as per wheel set, we measured a total of 478 grams for the standard set of wheel bolts. That includes the locking wheel nut. The titanium bolts came in at 341 grams. So that's an overall saving of 548 grams um, so as i said before marginal gains with this type of modification um, this is reducing the unsprung mass which is the best type of weight to try and reduce from the car and this will help improve the uh, handling of the vehicle so it means it's less weight that the shocks and springs have to try and compensate for Well, that's it. You can see they're all in now. They look really good compared to the standard wheel bolts. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, you're probably not going to initially feel any kind of performance gains, but every little helps and it certainly does look the nuts. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Take care.